I'm on, I call it the River Styx. It starts paved, turns to dirt. Even when it's dirt, the surface continues to change. Also the nature of the, the road itself, like uh, how wide it is, how tight the corners are, how off camber the corners are, that all changes along the way. It's pretty interesting in a car. <laughs> This will be the second time I've ever done it on a motorcycle, as far as I can recall. The first time was about an hour ago, when I filmed this video with my mic unplugged. So I'm guessing when I get home and look at that, it's going to be a pretty high quality video with some guy mumbling in the background the whole time. It starts out here in this sort of exurban farm area this corner used to be rippled really bad there's still ripples underneath the new surface barely feel them on this bike today is mid to high 80s in the sun or mid to high 70s in the sun low 70s in the shade so you may, may hear some sounds of relief every time I get into a shady area section coming up is a little dangerous when I look to the left you'll see there's a steep hill with a blind crest right there it's not too bad as long as you uh, commit to taking off second guessing yourself is probably the worst thing you could do when pulling out from here scary going the other direction that I'm going it's downhill and it gets pretty gravelly sometimes 
the surface around here is pretty soft because of the sort of wetlands thing we've got going on. I can see my tire tracks from earlier. <laughs> we go up this hill we're getting out of the wetlands into a, into a more normal Michigan forest. Also a more high traffic road. The surface tends to improve. is uh, Peach Mountain, which is uh, not a mountain, and there are no peaches there. There is a giant satellite dish that the University of Michigan uses for radio astronomy, or they used to use it. Pretty nice little hike up and down that hill. I'd like to take this bike up there, but I think the bicyclists, who are also not allowed to ride up there, would get mad at me for it. bridge. I think it's just a cool feature. Sorry if you ride a DR and you hate the sound of me bogging the engine, but I have a complete dead spot at a very specific point in the throttle. And the way the power drops out and jumps back on it feels pretty scary to me. So being in the wrong gear is kind of one of my only options to avoid that. Coming down the hill the other direction towards this bridge can be pretty scary when the gravel's loose. Just hoping you have enough grip. There is a reason they put those orange barrels there. <laughs> this is a nice straightaway for deer spotting, if that's your thing. other people are like this but when I'm learning a new skill like right now I'm kind of adapting my experience riding motorcycles to the new skill of riding them on soft low traction loose surfaces with you know, knobby tires when I'm learning a new skill like this anytime I make a great jump forward 
shoot and take a, a step back and feel like I don't know what I'm doing for a little while. And I get nervous and intense and have to once again remind myself not to grab the bike while I'm riding it. Don't, don't squeeze the bike underneath me, actually ride it. She's especially important when the front end of the bike is sliding this often. up just in the right way that it can really throw you off, catch you off guard. Take this one a little slow because it's, as you're coming into town there could be pedestrians or people turning in or out of this place and a lot of people there today. Event parking. So you seem pretty serious about that. Anyway, welcome to hell. That thing is gorgeous. Sunny Saturday afternoon here in hell. I call it the river sticks by the way. It's a sort of like a river of of dirt. That goes through hell. Clever, right? Big hole right on the line here. dry surface but it's going to change. stand up over these sharp crests to extend my line of sight a little further. Good practice when driving dirt roads. This is just drive based on your line of sight. Don't worry about really what side of the road you're on. Just worry about how far ahead you can see. So like this here, very blind and it's an intersection so I'm going to stay far to the right and wait until I can see through the corner before I, I commit to any particular line or speed. This here is kind of a quick right-hander and then you have to immediately break for a left-hander and it's often very muddy much more muddy than the rest of the road I was I was down here a little earlier so I'm going quicker than I normally would because I know what the surface is gonna be stay on the left side here because there's a fence on the left so deer aren't going to be coming from the left they still might be coming from the right because, you know, they don't necessarily know there's a fence there. Still a lot of leaves on the
the road here from the storm the other day. That's, this is surprisingly a little grip, this corner. At a nice sharp corner up here, you gotta treat it like it's a right turn at an intersection. Wait until you can see and then accelerate. the river sticks. 